for my fingerless gloves, I'll be using a lightweight yarn, which I will crochet with 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. However, the foundation chain, I will start with 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. So let's start. We'll do a slip knot here, insert our hook and crochet 10 chains. And then now I can switch to my smaller hook. So now each row will start with chain one. Skipping that first chain and going into the second chain from the hook, we'll do half double crochets. And this is only for our first foundation row. And I will put my counter so I can count and I'll know my next Fingerless gloves will have the exact, exact same number of stitches and rows. We flip our work and then we chain one. So for the second row, we'll be working into that loop, that third loop that's under the top stitches. So we'll be working over here. If you look at that V on top, that V still stays, we'll be looking at third loop. So we did our chain and picking that loop, yarn over for half double crochet, pick that loop, pull through, yarn over, find that third loop, pull through. And I'm putting my marker for my next row. And I'll catch you at the end. So now turn your work, chain one, and now in this row, that second row from the foundation, not counting the foundation row, we'll be working into that back loop of the stitches, right at this one. So yarn over for a half double crochet and work into the back loop of your stitches. And this is what we're going to repeat those two rows till the desired length of that band of your glove and this is how it looks on the back all our ridges that look like a knit stitch will be at the front of your fingerless gloves and I'll catch you when I'm done with the length I would like to have for medium for small to medium size I did 18 ridges and here we're going to have to close the band now. So we'll grab, still we're going to be working in that third loop because I ended on that row here, turning the inside out. So grab a loop that's that third loop under your stitch and grab a loop from the foundation chain. We'll do single crochets here. So grab that third loop. And then a loop from the other side. This still help, helps us flip those stitches and it looks still like a ridge. So grab the third loop and grab a loop from the foundation chain. It tells you where to go. And then do a single crochet. So grab the loop, grab a chain. And keep going till the end of the row. So here how it looks on the inside. Now we'll flip to the nice side and here it is. We can start now with our little shells here. So we'll be looking working in each row. So we're gonna start with chain two and then into the next row here we'll do Double two double crochets into the same spot, chain one and two double crochets into the same spot. And then into the next ridge here, into the next row, we'll have one double crochet. And then into the next row, we'll have a shell stitch. So two double crochets. chain two double crochets and we'll keep repeating that till the end so we'll have 
double crochet a shell double crochet and shell till the end of the row so I'll mini two right here so once we reach the end we had to double crochet or chain that we counted as a double crochet so we'll go on top of it and then we'll do a slip stitch to close our row and then we'll chain two this will be the next double crochet that we count and another shell into the shell space of the previous row so in that chain space we'll do another shell so two double crochets chain two double crochets and then we have a double crochet here we'll do a double crochet on top and we'll keep repeating the same thing shell and a double crochet stitch for a total of six rows so for a adult small hand these rows will still work um, or you can measure on your hand and decide maybe to go only one two three four five five rows and then when we reach till the thumb area I separated those three shells and I continued I just stopped here got my yarn and continue going into rounds for the rest of the hand so when I so it just went perfectly however when I measured it on my child's hand on a teen's hand that length was still good however it was a little bit loose another two rows of of the same pattern and then shells at the end and these are only five double crochets into that shell stitch and instead of doing that double crochet between the shells we did a single crochet so i'll keep going and working and i'll catch you when i'm done so here is how we're gonna do the, that last row of just just pretty shells at the end of our work so it will start with a single crochet into that double crochet stitch we have here and then into the shell stitch into that chain space we'll have five double crochets and then we'll have a single crochet into that space into that double crochet spot we have here and we'll keep repeating that till the end on the top of each shell and then you end up with a slip stitch into that first um, stitch you have there and that's all for those fingerless gloves